Good evening, and thank you so much for joining me for this WNCT Now Digital News Update. I'm Emily Severage, live in the WNCT Digital Studio. Today is Washington's birthday, or better yet known as President's Day. It's celebrated the third Monday of every Fe the third Monday of February, and it honors not only our first president, George Washington, but all of our country's presidents and all the contributions they've made to our nation. President Joe Biden's Twitter account pr uh, published this pre-recorded message earlier today to recognize and honor President's Day. Today we celebrate President's Day. But the American story isn't a story of presidents. It's a story of the American people, a story of courage, character, strength, and resilience, of facing the toughest challenges and overcoming them. It was true when Lincoln saved the Union. It was true when Franklin Delano Roosevelt told us the only thing we had to fear was fear itself. It was when John Kennedy stood in the winter air and summoned the country to serve. It was true when Lyndon B. Johnson watched the images from Edmund Pettus Bridge on Bloody Sunday and went to Congress to guarantee voting rights. Today, we're living through another long, dark winter in our nation's history, combating the deadly virus, joblessness, hunger, racial injustice, violent extremism, hopelessness, and despair. But I know we'll get through this. I know better days are ahead. I know it because I know the story of the history of the journey of this nation. The American people have never, ever, ever let this country down, given half a chance. So on this President's Day, I promise you, as your president, my whole soul is in the work ahead of us. And if we do it together, as one people, one nation, one America, we will not fail. America never has. The North Carolina Down Syndrome Alliance is working to make the people they serve a vaccine priority. People with Down Syndrome are currently in vaccination group four, but the alliance is working to put those people in group three. Not on your sides, Victoria Holmes reports. The state originally put people with Down Syndrome in vaccination group two, giving them higher priority for the COVID shots. Now they're in group four. Advocates say that this jeopardizes the lives of people with the genetic disorder. Many people with Down syndrome live with elderly parents and may rely on care workers for support. The Centers for Disease Control classifies people with Down syndrome at an increased risk for severe illness from the virus. That can include hospitalization, ICU treatment, or even death. Advocates say vaccinating them can save their lives and ensure hospital resources are available for others. And they're such a small group that if we isolate them and go ahead and get them vaccinated, that they won't be such a strain on the system. The state is closer to vaccinating people in group three. I have the information on who's in that group as well as when they can start making appointments for the shots. You can find that at WNCT.com in the online originals tab. In Greenville, Victoria Holmes, 9 on your side. How NBA star Michael Jordan is helping out North Carolina and a shortage on blood donors. That and more coming up after this short break. You can get 9 on your side news anywhere. We mean, well, anywhere at work. Over coffee, from the kitchen, the plane, outdoors, customized alerts. Everything you want in one place. Breaking news. We get it to you wherever you are. Out on the water, on a date, even at the North Pole. Ho, ho, ho. WNCT 9 on your side. News on the go. Anywhere, anytime. What happens in the WNCT Digital Studio is online for you. Live afternoon news updates. Continuing to track COVID-19 cases. Don't forget the positive news with Feel Good Friday. How about we break out some dance moves to kick off your weekend? Remember to see the good in each day. And if you're looking for your next eatery, Digital Dining has you covered. Tonight we're visiting Cucina La Mantilla. We visit Blend in Jacksonville. We're visiting La Cocina del Colqui. These and more on WNCT Now under the live stream tab. Thanks so much for joining me. If you're just tuning in, I'm Emily Severage, live in the WNCT Digital Studio, bringing you some evening updates. WNCT is bringing you live streamed updates every Monday through Friday at 1.30 p.m. and 4 o'clock p.m. to bring you the latest and up-to-date news before our nightly newscasts. 
NBA legend Michael Jordan is donating $10 million to launch two medical clinics in underserved communities near his hometown in North Carolina. Two Novent Health Clinics are set to open in early 2022 in New Hanover County. This gift marks one of the largest ever from the Basketball Hall of Fame athlete. Jordan previously gave $7 million to open Michael Jordan Family Clinic in Charlotte in 2019 and 2020. Those clinics have seen more than 4,500 patients and have administered nearly 1,000 COVID vaccines. The clinics will bring service to more rural and rural adjacent communities and to those who are underinsured or uninsured. Winter time for the American Red Cross is typically a tough time. This year, the pandemic has added extra challenges in meeting the constant need for blood supplies. The result? The Red Cross is in critical need of blood donations right now in order to meet the needs of area hospitals. In 2020, they experienced three times as many blood drive cancellations as in the previous year. Those who donate between now and February 28th will be gifted a $5 Amazon, Amazon gift card by email. You can find a blood drive near you at www.redcrossblood.org. Now these pictures right here look like they could be from Chicago or even Canada, but no. These pictures were taken over this past Valentine's Day weekend at the southern border with Mexico. I know, right? Much of Texas, Arkansas, and Louisiana were blanketed with snow. Also sneaking down south of the Rio Grande this week, dumping some visible snow on parts of northern Mexico. The National Weather, Weather Service reported near El Paso, Texas. Texas that the overnight low on Valentine's Day hit 14 degrees, breaking a record set in 1895. I'm certainly glad we're not having that chilly of weather up here, I can tell you that much. Well, that's going to wrap up this WNCT Now evening news update, and we have more news coming up for you tonight on our broadcast at 5 and 6. Thanks so much for watching, and have a great rest of your evening.